It was an eight year relationship with a breakup that ended up in tragedy. No one would ever expect a typical day at Disney World to turn into a terrifying hostage situation. It was the early 90s. Alan Ferris and his girlfriend, Barbara, had been dating for eight years. Perhaps they simply weren't interested in marriage. Alan was in the moving business. Barbara was employed as security at Disney Epcot. They had been living together in an apartment in Winter Park, Florida. Of course, their relationship was far from perfect. They certainly had issues going on. And around this point, the conflict within their relationship began to boil even further. Financial issues supposedly played a factor as well. And the two would have arguments and domestic disputes that became out of control. After the last tirade, Barbara then decided that they finally end the eight year relationship. Smith, who lived across from the couple's apartment, consoled an Alan just after the split. According to him, Alan was extremely shaken after the breakup, and it got to the point that Barbara had to put a domestic violence injunction against him. And not long after this, Alan tried taking his life by slashing his wrists. He survived the attempt. After being released from the hospital with his arm bandaged, he returned to his hometown in Rochester, New York. Relatives told police they had not seen Alan since Thursday when he told them he was going to attend a friend's wedding. But no, that wasn't the case. Something within Alan had finally snapped. Barbara was doing her security job at Disney Epcot that evening. Around 10 p.m., Alan suddenly appeared at Epcot, back in Florida, 90 minutes after the park closed. However, he didn't arrive empty-handed. He carried a nylon bag with him. Inside was a 12-gauge shotgun. Alan approached a guard, not too far from the entrance, and demanded to see his ex-girlfriend. The guard assumed that Alan was lost, but no. He was intent on seeing Barbara by any means necessary. Upon being questioned by security, Alan suddenly pulls out a 12-gauge shotgun from his bag and begins opening fire. He shoots three times near the guard, who then miraculously escapes unharmed. Two more Epcot employees were nearby and noticed the commotion. They attempt to flee once the shots run off, but Alan opens fire once again and forces them to stop. So far, they are unharmed and terrified. It was then that Alan forcibly took the employees hostage. Frantically, he marched the employees at gunpoint to a bathroom near the Journey to Imagination Pavilion. Anything they said or did could surely set Alan off. Deputies were called via radio transmission and immediately surrounded the area. They demanded that Alan step out and release the hostages. And eventually, after an exchange with the police, he did just that. He emerged from the bathroom, holding the shotgun that was now aimed at his chest. According to deputies, Alan yelled at them and demanded that they shoot him. Shoot me. You're going to have to kill me, is what he had said to them. And the police did their best to communicate with him, trying to avoid the worst case scenario. But not long after the exchange, Alan walked towards the pavilion and raised the shotgun to the side of his head and pulled the trigger. The weapon was then wrestled away from him and he was apparently still conscious and breathing after the self-inflicted wound. Paramedics were already on the scene and attempted to save him with the first aid, but it was pointless. Alan passed away en route to the hospital. Barbara couldn't be reached for comment on the situation according to park staff and police. A deputy admitted how shocked he was that no employees were harmed in the incident. He couldn't believe that Alan missed every shot, or maybe it was just an attempt to scare them. The event shocked friends, family, and neighbors alike who knew him as a kind, friendly man. He'd always have a smile and a handshake, one of his longtime friends would say. But he just got pushed to the limit. Something just happened to set him off, he added. An eight-year relationship is an extremely difficult thing to get over. I think that Alan was an extremely troubled man. I'm sure there was abuse in the relationship, so it's good that the ex-girlfriend had enough strength to get out of that. But hey, if you're dealing with a breakup, just focus on yourself, king or queen. But if you made it this far, I appreciate you and I will catch you in the next one.